5B was a theory question uh, whereby it told you that memo 89 in the stock card you were given is an expense, it's a stock loss. And you're asked to explain how a stock loss meets the definition of an expense. So an expense has three parts and we're going to need to give each part and then relate it to a stock loss. So the first part of an expense is there must be an outflow or loss of economic benefits. And in this case, that'll be the stock that's actually gone or been lost. What we don't want to do here is mention that an expense can also be a reduction in inflows of economic benefits. That's got nothing to do with a stock loss, so I'm not going to mention it. Second mark will be for stating an expense must decrease assets, which in this case it will be the stock control asset. I'm not going to mention that a, an expense can also increase liabilities because that has nothing to do with a stock loss. And lastly, there must be a decrease in owner's equity. So looking at how the state did, 1.7 out of 3, pretty well answered. Uh, over a third of students got 3 out of 3. What's important with the examiner's comments is this point about rote learning definitions and answers. So you can't mention, if you're going to rote learn the definition of an expense, that it's either an inflow of economic benefits or reduction in uh, inflows. Sorry, an outflow of economic benefits or reduction in inflows. You can't write both of those. You only give the part that's appropriate. Likewise, you don't say it's a decrease in assets or a reduction in liabilities. This question had nothing to do with liabilities, so we shouldn't have mentioned it. So the examiners made a comment that simply don't remember rote uh, answers, and if you mention a part of a definition that's not appropriate, you will actually lose marks.